Google search on water powered magnesium air battery. And then I'll show you what comes up on Japan Trend Shop. But it's called the MG Box phone battery. Runs on water. It runs on water, salt water, dirty water. Doesn't really matter what it runs on. But it works. It's called the MG Magnesium Box phone battery. Okay, easy. Easy Shop X. Let's see how much it is there. Review. High power rechargeable magnesium iodine battery chemistry. Seawater magnesium fuel cell power supply. That's a PDF. Let's click on this one now. Here they got it for $353. Over here they have it for $322. And here's the images. This is roughly what it looks like. You know, you could kind of make one of these, but it gives you the battery power of 32D batteries. But for 300 bucks, you go to the dollar store and for 16 bucks, you can get 32 D batteries. So the only nice thing about this is if you did buy this and you left it in your garage for the next thousand years, and then all of a sudden you needed power, it'd still work. Uh, that's one of the things. This is, has the longest shelf life out of any portable emergency battery. That's what I thought was cool about it. It's too bad they couldn't knock this down to make something like real small where they could sell it for like $5 in a $5 store or even smaller in a dollar store for a quick emergency battery. That is where I see this technology. Basically what they do is they fill up the box with water and there's a membrane that the water doesn't pass through and it uses some type of comp copper. It's a proprietary tech they i don't know if they patented filed the patent on it the manufacturing process but i was watching a video about the guy that developed it for this company oh, let's see where's the let's see if there's a name on here it's a japanese company it was pretty much invented by a battery company right after the where is it fuka something Right after the tsunami that hit Japan, shortly thereafter, that's where they developed this. Well, I try to bring you interesting things, and this was definitely what I thought was interesting. So, way too expensive, three hundred and twenty-two dollars for thirty D batteries. Come on, you're kidding me.